Good to see you, Kira. Since you came here, I've actually started to believe we can win this rebellion. So, you were saying we strike? Guards protect the island's treasury in one location. If we find it and steal it, the soldiers go unpaid, unfed, and unarmed. Podarkis will finally be vulnerable. Then we can stick our blades in between his ribs, feed his liver to the dogs. Before we start feeding organs to animals, can you get me to the nation's purse? Our spies have located it in Miltiadis' fort. I'll have Praxos gather the troops. It's best easier to sneak in and out undetected. You just want me all to yourself, don't you? <laughs> Let's get going then. Victory is close. I can feel it. We haven't won yet. The fort will be treacherous, and the gods can be fickle. It was the god I that it are so very tipped over and if they for it. Should have spent some of that silver on upkeep. Ah! Alexios, there you are. Good news, I hope. When the people of Delos discovered Podarkis lost every coin of their nation's treasure, ha, they're going to rip him to pieces. You've weakened Athens' grip over Delos, exposed Podarkis, and made way for a Spartan alliance. I could kiss you. I don't see anything holding you back. You breathed life into me. If only you'd arrived on Velos before Thaletas. These are dangerous times. I'd hate to meet Hades without having tasted those lips. <laughs> Very poetic for someone covered in blood. I like it. Do you even recognize me in the underworld? I wonder. For coming here. You've given us hope. I'll go back to the hideout. But if you keep this up, Podarkis is as good as dead. I may finally know peace. send our enemies to Hades! Kira will fight and die for her people! We will do the same! Alexios, I didn't think you'd come here after calling my plan a suicide mission. And miss your speech? Never. Athenians give speeches. Spartans give orders. Your men are brave, 
But they won't be enough. We need those reinforcements. They'd never get here alive. The Athenian navy is too powerful, and our ship is at the bottom of the sea. Mine isn't. You'd confront them in open waters? Not sure if you're brave or just mad. The Adrestia and I have faced greater challenges than a few Athenian ships. You fight like Achilles reborn. But even you couldn't defeat the entire navy. But if I sink enough ships, the Spartans can get through. There's something else. A helmet was left on board my ship. It was my butters. I'll sink the ships, but I'm not making any promises about a helmet. The sharks will have full bellies when I'm done. Lower the oars! You're back! I overheard fishermen telling tales of the Adrestia cutting through the sea. The Athenian navy is scrambling. Ah! Let their blood feed the sharks. Don't thank me yet. Your father's helmet is gone. I can't even remember his face anymore. That helmet was all I had left of him. But you broke the navy. That will be my vengeance. The Athenians will retaliate for what I've done, unless we hit them first. If that's the plan, we attack their commanders. Athenians are sheep. Kill the shepherd, and the flock will flee. March on them, and they'll see you coming. I work better alone. I'll take care of these commanders. You're going straight for their throats. Still, leave some Athenian blood for me.
I need to know where to find them. Kira's spies tracked all three of them. One guards the quarry, one's camped nearby. And the third? Him, we don't know. When the commanders are dead and more Spartans arrive, there will be plenty of blood for both of us. There he is, hiding in plain sight. for Kira. Not here. Gone hunting. Once you're with her, she said. I mean, where is she? Praying to the gods for a good hunt. The altar of Artemis, east from here. Keen-eyed Artemis, guide my bow. I pray to you with all my heart. And Alexios doesn't scare off the animals with his heavy footsteps. I thought I was being quiet. If that was you being quiet, we'll have nothing but trampled grass to eat for dinner. Nice altar. The flowers remind me of sweeter days. But your real concern should be, how skilled are you with that bow? I don't need to pray to the gods to hit my targets. <laughs> They've been known to disguise themselves as animals. I just like to warn them I'm coming. Because I always hit my targets. Sounds like a challenge. Come, the Ibex is swift. We're not going to catch any by standing and chatting. There's a spot down here where I used to hunt as a young girl. It was hunt or starve in those days. <laughs> Same for me. I started by catching and cooking rodents. <laughs> they make a good soup. But look how far you've come. How far would... <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? It is. Now show me how to use that bow. The bow? That too. My people will be well fed, and the gods will have their sacrifice, thanks to you. You're a great hunter. Why did you actually want me here? Don't be naive. There's something between us, even though I know I shouldn't act on it. Because you love the letters. And I always will. You... Uh, but you just said... You've been of great help to me, Alexios. For that I'm thankful. There is something between us. But it died when you gave me Pater's doll in front of my people. I should gather the spoils of the hunt and get back to my people. Take some with you. It's as much yours as it is mine. Thanks, but your people need it more. <clears throat> You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. I'd appreciate training with a master such as yourself, but that's not why I'm here. Oh! King Pausanias asked me to bring the Pankration champion to Elise. Forgive me. 
I didn't know a royal messenger was coming. I'm Alcon, Testicles trainer. Alexios of Sparta. If I may offer some advice before you get him, Testicles can be difficult. A gift of oil is village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him there, isolated, away from people. Look for the shipwreck of Nestor on the southern shore. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messenia. Good luck. I should get that oil. Anything that will make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. Sorry, closed. I need oil, then I'll be on my way. There's a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the Master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. Tell me, or I'll make you. Just add a touch of cinnamon. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? This one, the oil of Athena. I'll take some of this. Almost done. Now to add... This smells good. Everyone loves cinnamon. I hope he appreciates this. Ah, oh, it smells so good. I almost want to keep it for myself. I'd better turn around before I capsize. What do you want from the great champion Testicles? 
Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Sticklies! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. There's nothing to be nervous about. We'll be there cheering you on. But what if I don't win? They'll build statues and write poems about you. But first, we need to get you there. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? Uh, he better fucking win. The party has officially begun! I'm surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little goat. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner... You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... SPARTA! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as... big as your muscles. Let's get going. I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I likes to be oiled. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Oh. Come here. Gives us a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Lexi. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. What else goes on apart from the Pancration? There's Javelin, which, of course, you know how that works. The athlete thrusts the long, smooth spear forward. Yes, I know. And then there's the foot races and the horse races. Sweat everywhere. A delight for the eyes and the nose. Apatum 
I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. I'm here for the Pancration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. He's a little under the water, I mean, weather. I'm the one taking his place. Okay, okay. Save it for the fight. This is unprecedented, but the crowd will riot if the Pancration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. Time to go. And now, an esteemed judge, here in Olympia! My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart. The Pancration! I will not delay you with words, for we all want to see action! For Zeus, let the competition commence! <laughs> I'll squish you like a bag! Your end is here! <laughs> You'll be easy! Oh, it hurts! This is a fight! Where's your tough talk gone now? Oh, why you? That was your best? That was but the beginning! What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what he can do against Erastos! Good luck! Don't blink, or you will be seeing stars! Astounding! To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion! Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. Though, if Socrates were a more willing... a partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends, Dimophanes and Callias, Respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? You were celebrating? Uh, it's the Olympics. What's not to celebrate? We were at the Leonideon. If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Poison? Do you think that they could be two, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. <coughs> Stay with him. You double dealing dog! If 
you don't stop, I'll kill you both to preserve the truce. Now, if someone can tell me what's going on... This dishonorable girl stole from me! Huh. You call me a thief? You're the thief! Enough! I'll ask the questions. It seems unlikely that they would rob each other at the same time. You have to find out who stole their drachmi. I can't believe they would do this to each other. Whatever their issues, they've always respected the Olympic truce. I'll find out what happened, and protect the truce. If you prove it, Makar, I will reward you well. As will I, if you bring me evidence of Lelek's double dealing. And what if it's neither of you? Then they will both reward you. Very well. Agreed. Hey, Mistyos, would you like to learn about your future? Thank you. I would like to know what the fates have planned for me. You would? Yes, of course you would. Everyone wants their future told by the great Uzo. Well, what is it? I see great things. Like what? You know, things. And it's going to be sunny tomorrow. A thief! Hey! Thief! Looks like Phoebe. And as nimble a thief. I have to find her. The Sanctuary of Olympia, where the greatest athletes compete for fame and glory. Hey! Come back! A street thief, just like Phoebe. You led me on a good chase, but I caught you. Hand it over. Hand what over? My drachmi. Give it back. Here, please, don't hurt me. They made me do it. I didn't want to. Honest. <laughs> Hush. I'm not going to hurt you. I promise. But the captain will. Sounds like the captain needs a good talking to. Don't talk, just hit. He even stole my mother's necklace from me. Says I'll get it back if I steal from him. It's all that I had left of her. I'll help you get your necklace. Why would you care? You remind me of someone. Someone very special. You have dishonored yourself and the games. Please, let me explain. No excuses. You know the price for your transgression. What crime has this woman committed? Exactly that. Her crime is that she is a woman. It's news to me that's now a crime. Shouldn't you lock yourself up first, then? I am the priestess of Dimitra. I preside over the games. She's a married woman who tried to watch them. Disguised as a man, no less. She doesn't deserve to be punished like this. This is nothing. Death is the punishment. She shall be thrown from the mountain. Help me! Prove I have a right to see my son compete! You have no right. You broke a sacred tradition, and for that, you will be punished. Your laws are wrong, and I'll prove it. As you're so outspoken in her defense, I will give you a chance. Present me evidence of Kalipatira's noble heritage, or she will die as she ruled, to appease the gods. I'm looking for Kalipatira's son. Do you know him? I should hope so. It's me! Your mother has been accused of impiety. What? What's going on? What happened? Please, calm down. Calm down! Do you know what they'll do to her? She's fine for now. She snuck into the stadium to watch you, and I need to prove that she had the right to do it. If anyone did, it was matter. Her brothers were champions, as I am now. No one honors the Olympics like her. Thank you. Sit tight, and I'll prove your mother was in her right to attend the games. Please be proud, little one. Your father is the greatest of Pankratian champions.
Do you know Kalipatira? I've seen that one, all right. Always hanging around the athletes' tents. Disgraceful, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. All those young, oiled, rippling bodies gives you shivers, muscles everywhere. Oh, disgusting it is. And her a married woman and all. There's no harm in looking at an attractive man, is there? Yes, yes there is. You young ones are always thinking with what's between your legs. And she definitely was. Saw her meet a man regularly on that bench over there. You saw her meet a man. Thank you. That priestess was in a hurry to carry out her sentence on Kalipatira. I should find them quickly. ...to carry out justice. Please, you must believe me! Wait! You found the evidence you were looking for? Yes. Kalipatira is the daughter of the Agoras. I found the poem of the Agoras of Rhodes... ...dedicated to the family by Pindaros. And this proves her story? I talked to her son, and people who know her. She is a good woman. ...who loves the games, and respects the gods. Her family has turned out champions for three generations. Perhaps we have judged her too harshly. Her family has been a credit to the Olympic legacy. As you say, it would be a shame to tarnish such a proud family name. Thank you. And thank you. Nobody deserves such a fate. Oh. Nice view. It just got a lot nicer. I was hoping to see you again. Alcibiades, what are you doing outside of Athens? Someone like me is always on the move. I've docked my ship in every port. I'm sure you have. If you're here for more than the view, I have a task for you. It is crucial this package gets to its proper recipient. It's not for me, but a man named Theodoros. I'll help, but it's only that little box. One should never judge something by its size, you know. A small thing may very well make a huge impact. You said this package isn't from you. Why do you have it then? It simply came into my hands, that's all. The Theodoros asked for my help, like I'm asking for yours now. Why can't this Theodoros deliver it himself? You're a curious one, aren't you? Some questions don't have answers. Sometimes things just... are. All right. Who am I giving the package to? There's a man named Vardas near the Corinthian military fort. He's one of their stronger... Astros. Themistios I sent for. What do you want? This is for you. Give it here. Is this some kind of joke? This is a cast of someone's dick. 
What's this engraving? This is for your wife, Thalia, for when she starts to miss me. Tell me now, who said this? Do you know a man named Leodor? Ever touching Thalia! 